Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll have Jimmy G calling the shots. Grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago, went to Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, his ratio was good last week. Most quarterbacks are really excited about a three to one ratio, but it's flipped in the wrong direction. <laughs> he threw three interceptions, not touchdown passes, and he only had the one TD pass in that game. So he's trying to turn that around and find a way for his team to win. Here we go, here we go. Right away, here's Garoppolo to throw it. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Gets by him at the 25. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now, this defense for the Commanders, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. Yeah, they only allowed 13 points, and you can pull all 32 coaches, and I guarantee you they'd say, we'll take that every single week. But let me think about that for a second. Maybe there'd be one, one contrarian that would say, give me 10. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 40-yard punt, but they lose yardage on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Second down, Hal back to pass. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Hal throwing on third down here. Looking for strong, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Cordero Patterson. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Falcons take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. 
Second down, Hal now. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. With a play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. In motion comes the tight end left. Second down and a run by Robinson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine Lumi. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw, Howell. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. They'll call this a 41-yard putt, seven on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. It's caught, Smith. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. Garoppolo now. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. That's taken on the 25. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. They'll go play action. Howell. And that is incomplete. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. The numbers for Pitts in that game a week ago. Six catches, 92 yards. And he was able to haul that pass in there, but he knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. This unit in the top five in the NFL against the pass. Go, he's going to have to really work hard to get open. On second, here's Algier. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second.
second quarter now. Falcon football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here we go. To throw is Garoppolo. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Jonathan Allen. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Bourne. Touchdown, Falcons! Kendrick Bourne, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons go up by two touchdowns. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Kendrick Bourne who was able to cap things off with a touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Sam Howell in the offense, ready to go back to work. He's been picked off twice in this ball game already. And he'll try to sort things out here as they begin with the first down. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the man open here is strong. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Hal to the air on first and 10. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Falcons are going to take over here up near the 40. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Garoppolo looks to throw. Throwing for Smith on the, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's Washington that scoops it up. There he goes, right side. And he is going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. The pass receiver turned into a runner, and then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big-time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yards. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll make our score 14-7. to seven. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They were losers a week ago to the Rams, but they got the lead right now as they start this drive first and 10. Here we go. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now, 
try to pick it up. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Here's Brett Kern now to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throwing out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Second and 10, Howell. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Al throwing on first down here. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. And once more, Hal back to the air. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First down, Hal to throw. And this one's incomplete. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Okay. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now he'll look to throw it. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Al now to throw it. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will stay at a seven-point game. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here we go, here we Garrett go. Here we go. backfires on him, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And now with still more than a minute to go, and, with, and he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the play official here. Taken in by Patterson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Falcons going to use go, one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Eluding the play. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on second and long, Garoppolo. This 
one left side caught by Patterson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. One final possession for the commanders in this opening half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Faking the handoff, Howell. He's got a man complete. He's at the 30. 10, touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin as the first half is winding down. And the Commanders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll kick things off with one of the best rivalries in football. The New York Giants on the road in Big D. And it's the Cowboys on top as they play the second quarter. Dak Prescott has thrown a touchdown pass. Next, we'll visit the other team in Texas as we head down I-45 to check on the Texans at home in Houston. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Davis Mills, the Stanford man, with two touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And it's the visiting LA Chargers who are out in front. Keenan Allen, a touchdown reception. Next, a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Falcons. And it was a tricky half to figure out numbers-wise. They've got the lead, but you'd figure they're definitely talking about ways to get this passing game back on track. Meanwhile, for Washington, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. Both teams currently making their final adjustments. We're getting ready for the second half. So we'll send it back up to FedEx Field and hand things back over to Brandon Gunn. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. And we'll get another look now at Sam Howell in this commander's offense. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job 
and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And some room to run now. Touchdown, Washington! I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent is still the same in what they plan to do on offense. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. On the give, Algier headed left. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He's got Smith here. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Garoppolo now. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Three yards remain for second down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. His throw incomplete. Nice smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They'll run for it with Algier. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that'll bring him back within a point. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here is Washington now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. On first down, Hal. 
And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop during a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here we go. Second and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's gonna be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he's gonna be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fielded at about the 28. Now a hit and a loose football. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And now hang on here. The door, can you hear it? It's, it's, it's a little go, open. Is that the squeaky hinges that I'm hearing right now? Yeah, the door. Is that too high pitch? No, not at all. The door is open a little bit. It's almost like when you told those horror stories on the camping trip, right? <laughs> oh, no, he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. It was Tyus Bowser that time who made the play on the defensive side. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Running the sweep with McLaurin, and he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that's a wide out. When you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw in that play with a loss.
Now Robinson to throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Here we go. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw there taken in by Smith. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, here go, this here is go, where you go. need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Garoppolo's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now this one. Oh, no, he lost the football. He's got room at the 30. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the here other go, team go, doesn't go. get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw complete there to Smith. Go ahead, go ahead. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And incomplete on the deep ball. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Robinson with another carry. And he's got Rome. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 91 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. That one looks like he'll throw here. Catch made right side by Wilson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Hey, hey. 
So a victory here for the Commanders. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often. So for the Commanders, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. And, and they will hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And